Rooney, I think this is perhaps the most vulnerable um, I've seen you on screen um, so far, and a really beautiful um, performance in the film. What for you were the draws of taking on Therese in Carol? Well, the vulnerability was definitely one of them. It was, you know, it's not something, um, it's really challenging to, to be vulnerable on screen like that, but um, I just felt like it was, it was gonna be good for me to play a character who was sort of more naive and innocent. And, and the way in which she gets to come of age, I thought was so beautiful. I thought the, the way both women sort of, the, the changes both of the women go through and the way that they sort of guide each other to those changes, I thought was really beautiful. And, um, you know, I never would have been able to, to have shown that vulnerable side of me if it weren't for Todd and sort of how open and warm and lovely he is. And he just made both of us feel so safe to, to play and, and to be vulnerable and to let that side out. There's most of your scenes in the film, or a lot of scenes in the film were with Kate working very um, closely with her. Mm -hmm. It must have involved a lot of trust. Um, what, was, um, what did you particularly enjoy about creating that on-screen relationship with her? Um, I mean, it was actually, Carol and Therese spent a lot of time apart in the film, sort of thinking about the other person. And so we shot a lot of stuff separate from one another. And then when we did finally get to come together, it was, just really nice to be able to, you know, play off of one another. And we had some really incredible long scenes that we got to, that were just so much fun as an actor to be able to do that, especially with Kate, who's so incredible. And to have her be the thing I was reacting to was really um, a gift. And um, what did you make of the, the 50s design of the film. I, I loved um, Therese's sort of colorful woolen hat for one thing, How about the, uh, the production design and the, and the costumes. Well, the production design and the costumes were both equally um, beautiful. I mean, every the, the film is so visually beautiful. The cinematography, it really is like a painting. And it, to me, it feels really like it could have been made in the 50s. The costumes are always super important to me, um, especially in a period film. People dress so differently, and it changes everything about the way you feel and the way you sit and even the way you breathe. It's um, and Therese's clothes, you know, because she doesn't have, you know, her clothes aren't as refined as Carol's. I got to rewear a lot of the same things, and they felt like they all came from the same closet, and they were very lived in, and, and that was nice. No, absolutely. Um, and in the novel, uh, Therese has a line before she sort of um, falls in love, and, uh, sort of saying that she thought that it would be um, a kind of blissful insanity. And I just wondered how well that would describe what she does experience when she meets Carol. I think falling in love is, you know, Kate keeps describing it as that when people fall in love, they kind of, they feel like it's never happened to anyone else in the world. It feels so, it just feels so uniquely yours. And I think blissful insanity is probably a part of falling in love. And then I think it's also can be quite painful and, and sort of, you know, I mean, sort of the words people use to describe in, of falling in love, you could also use for, you know, the way people feel when they're sick. You know, there's a lot of sort of horrible feelings that come with falling in love. And I, I also think falling in love is, is mostly in people's imaginations and in their mind in the beginning. And then love is something different, but falling in love really is largely in the mind. And congratulations on your Best Actress Thank win um, at Cannes. Um, I just wondered what further um, awards recognition might, might, might mean to you, for this film in particular, for Carol. Um, you know, it's a film I'm super proud of, and so the fact that people are talking about that at all is great because it means that more people will see the film, and that's really, that's really what you want with a film like this. You want it to be a film that people see because people have had such strong reactions to it, and it's a film that stays with them sort of days later, and that's really the most you could ask for. Rini Mara, thanks very much. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!